A 65-year-old male patient presents to the ENT clinic for a routine follow-up after having a tracheostomy placed due to chronic respiratory failure secondary to COPD. During the visit, a medical student shadowing the physician inquires about the specific features of the tracheostomy tube the patient is using. The student asks if the tube has any mechanisms to help with speech or prevent aspiration, and if it is suitable for long-term use. Which of the following is not a property of the tracheostomy tube the patient is most likely using? Option A. It cannot be used to prevent aspiration. Option B. It has a fenetary valve on the inner tube. Option C. It has a locking mechanism on the outer tube. Option D. It can be used for a permanent tracheostoma. The tracheostomy tube in question is most likely a Jackson's metallic tracheostomy tube, often used in patients needing a permanent tracheostoma. The tube consists of three main components, an outer tube, an inner tube, and an obturator. Outer tube. This tube is complete and includes a locking mechanism to secure it in place, distinguishing it from other types like Fuller's tube, which does not have such a mechanism. Inner tube. While the inner tube is longer than the outer tube, it does not have a phonatory valve, option B. This feature is crucial for speech, but Jackson's tube lacks this valve, making it unsuitable for aiding phonation directly. Aspiration prevention. The Jackson's tube cannot prevent aspiration, as it lacks a cuff. A cuff is necessary to create a seal in the trachea to prevent fluids or food from entering the lungs. Permanent tracheostoma. The tube can be used for a permanent tracheostoma due to its durable design, making it suitable for long-term use. 